Welcome to Creatively Using the Creative Suite. Here's your host, Eric Burnskill. Hello and welcome to this week's episode of the Creatively Using the Creative Suite podcast. My name is Eric Burnskill and this week we are taking a look at InDesign and we're going to have a look at how to make reflections. This is something that you typically don't really connect with InDesign, making reflections of images or objects. But the fact of the matter is it's actually easier, in my opinion, to do it in InDesign than it is to do it in Photoshop or Illustrator before you import it into InDesign. So let's have a look here. I'm going to open up Bridge here and I'm going to grab a photo that I've got here. PSD file of that squirrel again. Yep, he's back. I'm going to go to File and Bridge and I'm going to go to Place in InDesign. And it's going to pop up in design, and I've got the document here that I want to place it into. Now this is just a normally sized A5 document and I'm all I'm going to do is just drag out a little area for him here. Actually I was supposed to drag out an area but did that didn't happen. Um, let's actually go ahead. I'm changing my mind right in the middle here so I'm gonna change the orientation here because we did have a squirrel that was tall. So here we have our squirrel in the middle of our InDesign page. All is well so far, so let's go ahead and make the reflection. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down my Option key, that's the old key on PC, I'm going to drag downwards, I'm going to hold down my Shift key so I don't so I don't accidentally move it just a bit sideways. I'm going to move it to the bottom. Holding down the old Option key made it so that the squirrel the image got duplicated. So I'm gonna continue here by nudging just a couple of pixels using my down arrow key. Then I'm gonna right click on this, I'm gonna go to transform and I flip it vertically. As you see we now have a reflection of the squirrel on this image but now reflections don't normally look this sharp. Um, so let's fade that in and this is usually where the trick is in Photoshop or um, Illustrator and this is where you'd use masks. Now InDesign is not that good at masking and there is this faster way, it's actually a dedicated tool to fading. So in the toolbar here below the gradient tool there's this tool right here called the gradient feather tool which is interesting, you can do a lot of interesting things with this tool, but in this, today, we're doing a reflection. All I'm going to do is select this image that I want to have the reflection. You see the cursor is changing right there. I'm going to hold down my shift key and I'm going to drag up a bit. And you see, no, that was a... You might even need to start dragging here a long way above where the image ends in order to actually get it fading as good as you want. But just playing around with that, and I think this looks pretty good we have a reflection. I'm gonna toggle over here and I'm gonna go into my preview and you see that we have our squirrel setting and we have a reflection. And of course you can you should utilize this in a, a design where you have a background element or something that makes this reflection look perhaps a bit more interesting. And you can also transform this image to give it some perspective and enhance the total overall feeling that way. But just making that simple reflection is easy in InDesign. And you pr might agree with me now that making this reflection in InDesign is a lot simpler than doing it in Photoshop or Illustrator. That's it for this episode of the Cradle Using the Creative Suite podcast. My name is Eric Burnskill. I'll see you back next week. Bye bye.